crafty friends and poodle pack. <clears throat> what is up, the poodle packs? Can you guys hear and see me okay? Hi, Kendra. Hi, Bewitched. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Dana. Hi, Janet. Hi, Susan. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Dana. Hi, Cheryl. I said those names already. I'm just repeating myself. I am just repeating. And I forgot to blow my nose. And apparently clean my desk, which is disgusting. Let me get a tissue and blow my nose. Okay, that's better. How's everybody doing tonight? I was a couple of minutes late because I was dying laughing. I was watching the Jenna and Julian podcast and they were doing the um, Choose Your Own Adventure. I haven't finished watching it yet. I still have like a while to go. Like I'm 15 minutes in, but I was dying laughing and I couldn't stop watching it. So I was a few minutes late because I was just laughing so hard. So does anybody else watch that podcast or is it just me? Because I just, it just cracks me up. I can't help it. It's just so funny. Most of the time it's hilarious. Hi, Jane. So I already gestured this. I think I said that already. I'm prepared. It's still drying though. What is it? The, the podcast? It's a, it's a podcast, which is basically like a radio show kind of, but it's on the internet. And they have it. Some people podcast and they don't show the video of what they podcast. But Jenna and Julian, you can go to their... Um, I'm sure you know who Jenna Marbles is. She was popular on YouTube for, you know, she's been like the most popular person on YouTube forever. Her and her boyfriend have a podcast, which is basically like a radio show on the internet. And they do it once a week and for like an hour or so. And they talk about different topics each week. And it's hilarious. Some of them are really funny. Some of them are serious, you know, on a more serious note. But overall, they're always pretty funny. And, um... You need to go and check them out. The channel is called Jenna and Julian. So J-E-N-N-A and Julian, J-U-L-I-E-N. Um, or J-U-L-E. Yeah, Jenna Julian. It'll, it should pop up. J-U-L-E-N or something. I can't, I don't remember how it's spelled. But anyway, they are hilarious. Charity, where do you live? I listen to Jenna and Julian and Joe Rogan. Those are the two that I listen to nonstop. They're hilarious. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Bev. My fingers are hurting really bad because I've been playing my ukulele and, oh my God, my fingers are so sore. I haven't played an instrument. Well, I never really could play any instrument very well. I had a, I have a guitar and I used to play it more, but guitars were hard for my fingers because my, fin my hands are small 
So it was always hard for my fingers to hit the notes or the chords on the guitar because my hands and my fingers are so little. And I always had issues. But with a ukulele, I'm discovering it's a lot easier for me to hit the chords because it's not, my fingers didn't stretch far enough on a guitar for a lot of chords. Some of them I was fine with. I could play like a typical, you know, like four different chords that I could play all the time without a problem. But anything that had to stretch my fingers at all, like even the ones on the ukulele, there are a couple I can't play still because, and I'm sure it's just because they're difficult chords, but for the most part, for the most part, you know, I've been able to play songs and, and play full songs without a problem. And, um, I don't know, I tend to learn the chords really fast. So I learned, you know, like I could play a couple of, quite a few songs I know all the chords for and can play them, but I'm just very slow. So I play like, you know, I'm still not used to the whole thing, you know, so I'm still just practicing, but. But it's fun anyway. Oh, you live in Greenbrier Charity? Cool. Are you actually in are you actually in Greenbrier or are you in Ridgetop? Because I'm in technically I'm I'm in Ridgetop. But No, Jane, do not cut my fingers off. I won't be able to play the ukulele if you cut my fingers off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading the chat, but trying to. You had injection, injections in your fingers today? What did you have injections in your fingers? You're making my fingers hurt. I want to ball up my fingers and be like, no. Why would you have injections in your fingers? That really sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm not going to complain about my fingers hurting anymore. <laughs> But my hands will get calluses back on them. I used to have calluses on all my fingers from playing the guitar. And then, of course, when I didn't play anymore, they went away. So I'll eventually get the calluses back probably within about a month. It takes about a month. I'll get them back. And then my fingers won't hurt anymore to play the ukulele. I think I need different strings on my ukulele. Well, really, I need to get a, a ukulele that's not like a piece of crap. Mine's just like a little kid's ukulele that I got on eBay for like 20 bucks back like four or five years ago. And I never really played it because, actually, I didn't get it four or five years. Yeah, it was probably like three years ago. It was like right before I started getting sick, right before I got cancer and all that stuff, or maybe when I had cancer. I got it around then, and then I got had all kinds of things happening with my health at that time. So I never played it, and I kind of just put it away. And uh, so it's been sitting in a box. And I actually thought the box was already packed up and downstairs, but I was cleaning stuff up and I looked in a box and I was like, oh, I'm like, there's my ukulele right there. So I decided to pull it out and start practicing a little bit. And, um, yeah. Oh, in your joints, what for arthritis, I guess. Oh, you're in Ridgetop, Green Ridge Apartments. Where are Green Ridge Apartments in Ridgetop? There are apartments in Ridgetop? Where the hell are they at? Why don't I know about this? Huh. Green Ridge Apartments. Oh, wait. Are they, like, up 41 right before you get into Ridgetop or no? Well, Ridgetop, I don't know. Huh. Green Ridge Apartments. I don't know where that is, I don't think. I'm down 251, um, or 257, I mean, if you're at the light, coming from, like, coming from towards Nashville into, into Ridgetop, going, you know, coming up the ridge, coming that way into Ridgetop, if you make a right at the light there, I'm down that way.
Yeah, you have glue calluses on your finger after you're collaging. Yeah, I get them too. <laughs> Janet. The other Janet came in. So today we're going, who's, who's participating today? Is everybody going to be participating today? Because today we're going to do something a little different. Um, we're not going to use the cards today. We are going to do something a little different than use the cards. No, Jane, not you. Janet is popping picks. That is Janet. And then there's another Janet in here. Your name is Jane. <laughs> uh, are you, I don't know. She's going to break my fingers. Oh, it's 3.46 in the morning. You should be in bed, woman. So what we're going to do today is you guys are going to give the prompts that we all have to follow. No, I don't think you can make your own gel medium. I mean, unless you just use clear glue and mix it with something. Like, I don't know what gel medium is made of. I would imagine, I don't know. I don't know what it's made of. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, you guys are gonna give the prompts out. Nah, it'll be fine, Bev, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose people to give out the prompts. Did I ruin my page here? No, okay. I'm going to choose people, and they're going to give out the prompts. Like, I'll ask for, you know... So that, you know, almost everybody will get and hopefully get a chance that wants to, to, to give out a prompt. So is everybody ready to start? Has everybody got their pages gessoed in whatever they're going to use, whether it's their journal or just a piece of cardstock or a piece of cardboard? <coughs> That's fine, Dana. You can do it however you want. Okay, so if you're interested in choosing a prompt, please type prompt in the in the um yeah, in the chat. And I'll pick one of you that is interested that puts the word prompt. If you put the word prompt in, that means that you you have a prompt ready. Now, keep in mind, we're going to not give crazy prompts like, oh, do, you know, something ridiculous. We're going to try to do it because this is my way of helping you go in the order of things to make something, to make something like, all right, so the cards just give us wacky random things sometimes that maybe don't fit. But what we're going to do is try to actually make something nice and it's going to be up to you to show me what you have learned so what would be a typical thing that we would do after we have our gesso page so think of a prompt that you would want to use or that would be useful on a page we'll do another time we'll do it where we just do crazy prompts of weird things and random things but this time i just want to see how much everybody has learned from the prompts and doing mixed media 
how to put together a piece. So I'm going to let you choose it. Okay, so I'm just going to randomly pick somebody. So Tammy 2, you are going to pick the first prompt. So it's up to you to start off. Like just pick whether we're going to use, you know, whatever we're going to use right now. So you just, I'm not even going to give you any ideas because I want you to pick it on your own. So Tammy 2 gets to pick. So type your prompt, Tammy, just Tammy, in the in the chat. And that's what everybody has to follow. Not just me, but everybody else, too, that's playing along has to follow what Tammy says for this first prompt. It, it could be something that I've had in my cards. It can be something else. Whatever you want. What do you want to put down as our first layer? Stamps. So Tammy wants us to stamp first. So we'll get our stamps out and we'll stamp. Sounds good to me. Let's see. I'm going to do some background stamping since this is a background. I got my favorite stamp. And I've got, let's see what else do I got. Ooh, I got this. Oh my God, I'm such an ass. <sighs> Nothing. I just spilled stuff all over the floor. I didn't mean to. I just did. Because I'm an ass. And that's what I do. I spill stuff and I make an ass out of myself. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to use... Do I want to use black ink? Hmm, yeah. I can use some archival ink, I guess, because the pad is big. And I'm just going to stamp. Am I getting anything on there? I don't even know. Let's find out. I am. <laughs> I guess I am. All right, let's use this one. Let's use this one. this one some more. Ooh, my hands are really hurting. That's from playing the ukulele. My hands are sore. That's the thing about my arthritis. It's really hard for me to be able to do anything like play the guitar or play the ukulele because my arthritis acts up and I could probably only play it while my shot is in, um, is, uh, you know, while I still have my shot in my system is what I was trying to say. Because once my shot wears off, there is no way I'm going to be able to play the ukulele, that's for sure. Anybody else needs to keep going? We have our stamp images, our stamped background.
Yeah, I like to feel the texture on it. And I also like to make sure there's no little things sticking up on it, like uh, little bits of hard hardened gesso that gets on it sometimes. Hi, Althea. How are you? Okay, so now if you want to add a prompt, type in the word chocolate. I'm going to do a different word for each t each round. So type in the word chocolate if you have a prompt you want to add on to this. Now, I don't go to the pain clinic for the, for the shots. I go to my rheumatologist for those shots. I go to the pain clinic for my other stuff, but I go to the rheumatologist for my um, shots. The pain clinic doesn't have the Depomedrol, and that's what I need to use. Um, they only have a, a different type of steroid shot, and I don't like it. Okay, Debbie Pasalacqua. Is that how I say? Is that how you say your name? Am I saying your last name right? Pasalacqua. Is that correct? I'm usually pretty good at at pronouncing people's last names. Pasalacqua. I'm assuming that's it. But anyway, you get to choose the next prompt. I'm, I'm like really bad at remembering people's names, but I'm really good at pronouncing the people's names <laughs> before I forget <laughs> what their name was. Oh, is that where you get your joint shots from? Is that the rheumatologist? Yeah, they, they usually have the best stuff. I bet, does it take a few days for it to kick in and then when it does, your fingers feel a lot better? Is it is it Depomedrol? Is that what they give you? Or is it something else? I like Depomedrol personally. That's just my favorite, but it doesn't work for everybody. Some people don't like it. Watercolors. Good choice, Debbie. So now we're going to do watercolors. I'm excited about that. I might use, let's see, what have I got? I'm going to use my cheap watercolors because I've been using my, my Karataki ones, but I want to use some of my cheap ones because I don't want to neglect them. And plus I like the, the shimmery ones. They're fun to use. So let's do some watercoloring. Get some watercolor. This is one of my favorite pans, and it's like literally like a three dollar pan of watercolor, and it's pretty good considering. It's not bad. I mean, for a cheap set, it's not too bad. Thankfully, I used it. Be careful with whatever you stamped with. If you're going to use watercolor over top of it, you need to keep in mind that if you stamped with anything other than stays on or something that's permanent, you're going to have a lot of running when you put your watercolor on. So just keep that in mind. Luckily, I used, that's why I decided to use the uh, archival so I wouldn't have running. <laughs> But just spray it. Uh, you might want to spray your paper with some uh, some sort of, um, what do you call it? Yeah, like a matte sealant. Before you continue. Hello, Danina. Hi, Aunt Beck.
use some of the use some of the um, shimmeries. I like to add the shimmer over top of the regular watercolors because the shimmers are the shimmer paints themselves are very like they're transparent so they're not very pigmented but they're really really shimmery anyway so I'll just go in and add them over top That one's more pigmented than the others, it seems. It's got a good amount of pigment on it. I think it's just the purple and the pink that doesn't have a lot of pigment to it. That is my watercolor. I'm going to let these dry out over here. You don't want to close them up when they're wet because uh, they can mold, so I'll leave them sit out for a while. Batteries dying on my little vape thing. I need to go get a different battery. Okay. All right. Does anybody need more time? heat gun for a second. Hi Robin. 
How are you? Hi, Nadge. Nadage? Nadge? Richard? Did you also just have the page? Yeah, I just have the page. This is um, just a, it's a, like a crappy journal that I got from Walmart. It's, uh, I don't know, because it doesn't, I covered it, so you're not going to be able to see the cover. It's just, um, it's not even like, it's not watercolor paper. I think it was like a drawing tablet or something. It doesn't say, I don't know. It was not, an, it, it was just a cheap journal. It's got like perforated pages and everything. It's just cheap paper. Um, so, I have journals with better paper, but for mixed media mashup, I just use this. It's fine. It's all good. Does anybody still need more time? Or can we pick the next one? If you want to pick a prompt, put in the word ice cream. If you want to be chosen for the next prompt, choose it. The person that chooses the next prompt, put in the word ice cream. I'm just making up random words that sound good to me. Chocolate, ice cream. <laughs> you made yourself a smoothie? Oh, was it? I bet it's good. I have to make myself one tonight. I, I wanted to make one before the live stream, but again, I was watching the Jen and Julia, Jenna and Julian podcast, and I was laughing so hard that I didn't get my ass up in time. Instead of watching them for 15 or so minutes, I should have gotten up and make a smoothie. Janet said there's 75 people watching and only 36 people hit the thumbs up, so... The rest of you need to hit thumbs up. I mean, only if you like it. If you if you don't like it, then why are you still watching? Get out of here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Get the hell off of my live stream. You don't belong here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, um, Janet says penguins, you weirdo. <laughs> okay, Jane, who picked the first one? I'm trying to. I should have wrote the wrote it down. I forget who picked the first one. Let's do let's do Kendra because I, I let's do Kendra, um, because I know I didn't pick Kendra yet. But didn't I pick Jane? Did I pick you first? Who picked the stamping? Was that was that Jane? I'm gonna start writing it down. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a piece of paper and I'm gonna write it down. That's what we're gonna do. Deb was the first one. Tammy. Oh, Tammy picked the first one. And then it was uh, what? Deb Pascalacqua. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then we'll do Jane and well, then we'll do Jane because I was going to do Jane. We'll do Jane and then we'll do Kendra. I'll let Kendra do the next one. So we did Tammy. We did Deb. And now we're going to do Jane, J-A-Y-N-E. And then we'll do Kendra because I kind of like hesitated between the two. So Jane, go ahead and pick a, pick a prompt. We are, hi Marianne, we are working in our mixed media mashup journals and we are playing mixed media mashup, but we're not using the cards that we usually do. I'm letting the people in the chat pick the prompts that we use. And most of them are following along and actually working in their journals as well. Stencils, yay, stencils, let's do stencils. All 
this one. So I'm imagining you can use paint or sprays or anything you want. I'm just going to use some sprays, I think. Pasalakwa. <laughs> I said it right. I'm shocked. No, I'm not really shocked. I'm pretty good at saying last names for some reason. First names, I suck at. Last names, I can do. I don't know why. People will always say to me, like, I'll say, well, what's your, what's your last name? And they'll be like, oh, nobody can pronounce my last name or whatever. And I'll look at it if it's written down or something. I'll look at it and go, such and such. And they'll be like, oh, wow, you actually pronounce that properly. I'm like, yeah, I don't know how I do it, but I can sometimes do that. I'm just going to use, do I want this color? Yeah, why not? Let's do a little bit of this. little of that and oh let's do some of this gold I'll see you later Aunt Beck thanks for stopping by I'm just gonna do that oh that looks cool I dig it. You know what I need to do? I need to get my book. Because <clears throat> when I'm done with this book, when it's all filled up with stuff, I'm going to um, obviously work in it. But I'm, I got a ways to go. I got to layer a bunch of pages. and So it'll probably be a while. But I use this anytime I, you know, anytime I still have a lot of blank pages, but anytime I have my brayer or I brayer something or sometimes the pages stick together because I'm too impatient, but that's okay. But it's getting there. I've been using this for like over a year now. It'll probably be another year or so before I am done with it. This stencil is a pain in the butt to clean. It's a nice stencil, but it's a pain to clean because it's got all these little bits that like to come off, that like to get bent and stuff. All right, we'll put that over there and let that dry. So I had to turn my air conditioning on today, my window unit, because my central air doesn't work right now. So I turned on the window unit, and we only have one window unit, and it's in the kitchen, and my office is back further down the hallway, so um, it tends to get warm back here. And so I turned it on this morning because it was getting warm, because the past few days it was cooler out, thankfully. I didn't need it on. But today it was getting warm, and I was like, crap, I need to cool it down in here. So I turned it on, but I stupidly forgot to put the temperature down on it. So it was set at like 78. So it never really was cooling anything off all day, which sucked. Because I like it to be like 69, 68 degrees. I'm, I'm always hot. Everything, all the time, always hot. So I was like, why am I so hot? I was like trying to play my ukulele for a little while earlier. And I was like, I just gave up because I was boiling hot. And I couldn't understand why. I'm like, why isn't the air conditioning? It doesn't feel like it's even on. I went out there and looked at it and it was set on 78. And I was like, and I literally turned it on at like, I don't know, seven o'clock this morning and didn't realize that it wasn't really cooling anything. And the fan was just blowing on it. And I didn't realize this until like six or seven o'clock at tonight. 
which really pissed me off because I was like, damn it, all this time I could have been cooled off, but now it's finally cooling off because it's finally doing what it's supposed to do. But we wouldn't be having mixed media mashup tonight if it wasn't for me going over and looking at it and realizing that it was on the wrong setting because if it was as hot as it was a couple hours ago, I would have been like, screw it, I am not going to do mixed media mashup in this heat. <laughs> Does anybody still need more time? I guess I can hit this with the heat gun a little bit. Um, we do mixed media mashup on Mondays, but sometimes it ends up going to Tuesday, sometimes even Wednesday. <laughs> Most of the time it's either Monday or Tuesday, but it's supposed to be Monday. But sometimes I end up having issues or something happens and we end up doing it on Tuesday. But we pretty much consistently do it every week. We just, most of the time we do it on Monday. It's just sometimes we do it on Tuesday. All right, Kendra, you're up. You get to choose. You get to choose the next prompt. Yes, I got it written down. I know. Hello, Cracked Heart Studio. I seen your message on my YouTube. I just haven't responded to it yet because I ended up getting sidetracked. So I did see your message and I think you put your address and everything in there. So I have it. If you put your address in there, then I have it. I just haven't responded yet. Add tape. Kendra says add tape, which could be washi tape, duct tape, whatever kind of tape you want, I would imagine. <clears throat> Let's see, what kind of tape do I want to add? Um, hmm. Maybe I'll add some Jane Davenport tape. Maybe I'll do Maybe I'll make a face with the tape. Sharon, just do it over again. It doesn't have to show up great. Yes. 
tape is the next is the prompt that we're working on now. It's tape, like washi tape, duct tape, masking tape, whatever kind of tape you want. Big eyes. I'll put one eye there because I'm trying to get to the tape where it has the two eyes going in the right directions. <laughs> If I would have done these two, they would have been both going in the same direction or whatever. So I was like, let me choose the correct. <laughs> Maybe I'll do this one like this. I'll just do a half a face. supposed to go with that one so we'll use that for this one I don't want I don't want them to match perfectly oh this one probably matched that one I didn't even mean to do that oops <laughs> And they only get one eye. Because if I use that eye, it would be the matching eye, too. I don't want to match. So they're going to get one eye. That's it. Ooh, I should give them the other eye off of the little one. And do, like, one little eye and one big eye. Let's do that. They get one little eye. <laughs> they get one little eye and one big eye. Well, that's interesting. Get this one that says hopeful, adventurous, wishful, mystical, lovely, magical. Let's put some of that on there. If I can find the end, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> Does anybody still need more time with the washi tape or can we move on? We only did four prompts and we've got like pretty much a, I've got pretty much a finished page in front of me. Oh, you ordered the stamps, Kendra? Oh, that's cool.
Well, if we want to, if we finish, if we add just a couple more things to this page, we can always work on another page too. We don't have to just do one. <clears throat> I got these in a half email. I didn't order them online. I don't think they're available online. Um, from what I've seen when I looked up, when I looked them up, I think they weren't available online. I think um, they're uh, um, Jane Davenport. Okay, so if you want to give another prompt, um, type in the word smoothie. <laughs> type in the word smoothie if you want to give a prompt. If you already gave a prompt, don't type something in just so that we can, I can get through, you know, I want to be able to give everybody a chance to get something in. or as many people as I can anyway. <clears throat> okay maybe we'll do another page we'll just finish this one up we'll add a few more things maybe so maybe we'll finish this one up and do another page so maybe we can um, add a couple of other little things to this one and make another page that's fine <laughs> Janet says soothie or smoothie <laughs> they both work I know what you meant I'm not picky about spelling I hate when that happens, Jane. When your brush and your your brush falls apart. Which part came off from your brush? Was it um was it like this or did the bristles didn't come out, right? Just like this came apart cuz that happened on this one. I haven't glued it yet. But take some E6000 and put it around. Put some E6000 in there. Not, you know, don't overdo it, but put it, just put enough in there to hold it and then put it on and put a piece of tape around it and let it sit for a couple days and it'll be better than new. I just haven't done it to this one yet. All right, I am going to pick Janet. Poppin' picks. You get to pick the next prompt. Janet gets to pick the next prompt. Add sparkle. Good choice, Janet. Good choice. I can always leave it to Janet to pick the right thing. <laughs> I always have to. Ha sparkle is the most important. I've got my stickles on the ready, too. So I'm going to add some sparkle. Got to have sparkle. Let me put some sparkle in her eyes. In her eye, I should say. <laughs> Let's see. I don't want to 
we've got some blue, we can put some blue. This one always gets clogged, it hates me. We'll do this color then. All my ladies look pissed off, don't they? Don't they all look kind of mad? <laughs> I didn't realize I had the same eyes here as I do here. Didn't realize it. I do some of the... They're pissed off or cross-eyed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this one, she don't know which way she wants her mouth to go or her nose. She's all out of it. Does anybody need more time or should we go into the next person? Okay, so if you want to pick the next prompt, type in the word cookies. Okay. 
type in the word cookies. There's not much more I want to do to this page. I may start another page or get another page. I may not use it in this book because I won't be able to turn this page because I forgot I got glitter glue on here. So I'll just grab a piece of uh, watercolor paper if I start another one. Which you guys don't have to start another one. You can keep working on the same one if you want to. Okay. Kelly Rickman. You get to choose. You get to choose what prompt we do next. Hi, Sandy. Add words or quotes. Sounds good to me. Let's add words or quotes. I have, ooh, you know what I have? Things I printed out. I wonder if any of these would work. They're probably not going to match. I'll have to get the ones I did in the white on the white paper. Those will match better. Let me see. Okay. Phew. Add words or quotes. Hmm. Let's see. Okie dokie, I've got, these are some that I printed out because what I did was I scanned um, some quote stickers that I had and I printed them onto um, sticker paper, kind of, like, late. it's a giant label and it's self sticky and so I just cut out, this way I can cut out what I want to use. Um, let's see, I've got, and then I also put some pictures in it to use up some of the space. Um, of course, of lots of poodles and some, <laughs> all these vintage poodles around there. Because I love poodles, of course. Duh. As if you didn't know that. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I like this one. I'm going to cut that one out. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. I definitely like that one. Hello, everybody. Anybody that just came in. Maybe we could put that one there. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see.
Maybe I'll put Okay, I got three quotes that I could put on here. I've got, I'm going to put that one down there, I think. No, I like that one up there. This one says, live today in all caps. And this one says, I keep getting glitter on my fingers. This one says, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. And this one says, make today ridiculously amazing. They're all cute. They're all cute. And they're sticky on the back. matter of figuring out how to get the thing unstuck. Hi Mary Lou. Hi Zoe. Hi anybody that came in recently. Hi Michelle. Hi Crafty Kaboo, sorry you just got the email notification. Are you in the group, Crafty Caboose? Because if you're in the Facebook group, then you would know pretty much immediately. I'm just going to cover that over that part. I don't care. Um, because you would see the posts in the group. Oh, well, sorry you missed the first half or the first or the majority of it or whatever. I should screwing up my glitter because I keep hitting my hand on it. I should outline it in black pencil. I need a pencil sharpener. Where's my little pencil sharpener? Um, hmm. I had a little pencil sharpener that sat over here forever. There it is. Goodness. Too much crap. A little owl. Looks pretty good. Right, I'm going to try to do this without putting my hands in the glitter. Which I'm not really doing successfully. I'm 
just making a mess. That's okay. Messy is okay in my book. Literally, in my book. Maybe I will take a water brush and wet that. Where are my water brushes? Did I lose them all? Oh, here's one. I found one. Yeah, YouTube does that sometimes. You won't get the notification, which is weird. It's kind of annoying. Thanks, girl. I like it, too. It's cute. Malika. Yeah, I miss Pat too, Janet. I wish she would come back and crack the whip on everybody. <laughs> so make sure they give a thumbs up. Okay, so for anybody that still wants to pick another prompt, uh, what did I do? Get the take the glitter off of that with my hand? Probably. Maybe I forgot to put glitter on it in the beginning. I don't know. Either way, there's no glitter on it. Need to add that glitter. Yes, ma'am, I am. Okay, if you want to pick another prompt, you have to write in chocolate cake. Can you tell I'm hungry and I want junk food? That's a good piece of advice. If you're if you're working on a page and you're having trouble with colors, you know, not looking right or um, having issues, try yeah, like Janet had suggested, picking two or three colors that complement each other and sticking to them through the whole thing. So, I mean, you could use various shades of them, but basically, like I picked purple, teal 
pink and a little orange and I basically try to stick to those colors for the most part through the whole thing I do that a lot with my pages I usually try to stick to a certain amount of colors um, but I understand Kelly I've had to do that before so don't feel bad I've had to completely gesso over an entire page and start over so don't think it doesn't happen I I I do the same thing I've had to do it so The ink costs more than the printer, depending on the printer you get. Um, if you get an Epson printer, you can get a continual ink system, which is what I had. And the, and the inks for Epsons are generally cheap. Um, but the nice thing I like about this new printer that I got is it's an HP printer, which generally the ink's very expensive. But what it came with is uh, what you could do nowadays is for like $4.99 a month, you can get inks and they'll send you ink like every month automatically for four dollars and ninety nine cents a month so or you can get the nine ninety nine one and it'll if you use a lot of ink like I generally use a lot of ink but right now I'm starting off with the four ninety nine a month one um, to see if you know if that's fine and I you know I I'll string I'll spring for five bucks a month if I can get ink but I've got three months free because I've got th it came with like a month and then on the website, it gave you like two months free or something. So the printer itself came with the first month of ink, which was cool. So, um, but then it had, to, it gave me two free months as well. So like you get ink for the first couple of months, which is cool. If you get an HP printer, um, and then after that for $4.99 a month, It'll automatically send me ink because it's, it sends a signal from my printer letting the, letting HP know when I'm getting low and then it'll automatically send me my ink, which is awesome. Um, so that's a cool feature. And then, but if you don't want, if you don't want an HP printer, um, you can get an Epson, which has, they, you can buy a separate continual ink system where you can just buy ink for it for like 20 bucks and that'll last you like over a year so either or is a good deal it depends on what if you have an older Epson printer they don't are not eligible for the ink this ink program um, you have to have a newer printer like in the last year or so so um, in order to do this with their program. But I think it's a pretty cool, pretty cool little uh, deal they got going. Alright, did, did anybody put in chocolate cake? Because I didn't see anybody put in chocolate cake. If you want to pick another prompt, I don't know, did you not guys not hear me? Or does you not want it? I don't know. I don't see anybody that put in chocolate cake, so maybe you guys didn't hear me. But if you want to put in another, if you want to choose a prompt, put in chocolate cake into the chat. I'm like looking back and I don't see anybody that put it in. Put the word chocolate cake in the chat. Oh, I see one person. So, I think I'm going to choose her because she paid attention and she was the only one that paid attention. <laughs> so, you don't have to keep putting in chocolate cake because I already cracked heart studio. You are going to get to choose the next prompt because you paid attention. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Cracked Hard Studio, you get you get to choose. You got to make up the prompts; they're in your head, so you get to choose whatever you want, and and we'll I'll do it on my paper on my page.
put on some lipstick and sign it with a kiss. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I'm going to do that necessarily, but... <laughs> You are sassy. You are a sassy girl. I don't want to kiss it. It's got crap all over it. <laughs> now I have to call your name, Sandy. So like, like right now, Craft, um, Cracked Heart Studio gets to choose one and then later you'll have the chance to choose one like other people are getting a chance to choose one I choose who gets to choose wow that sounded really confusing that didn't make any sense at all black border around the page that sounds like a good one sounds like a good one to me and I'm going to use this art crayon which I absolutely love and I'm just going to go around. I love this thing because it's fun. <laughs> and I can just mush it, smush it, and make a black border. I think it looks good, and I think I'm done with this one. Crafty Caboose, did you get your package? What package? Did I get a package? What's your name, Crafty Caboose? My brain ain't working. She says, I won't volunteer my art thoughts for a while. <laughs> what? What was wrong with your art thoughts? I thought they were good. What about you, Sandy? Sorry, I'm lost. What about you? I'm all kinds of confused. Thank you, Suometer, Mitar, Su Suometer, Su I don't know how to say it. 100? <laughs> Su Su Suometer. I don't know what that means. The magazines. Yes. Did I not put that in the happy mail? Delivered this morning. No, the magazines were delivered yesterday. Raquel, that's who you are. My brain don't work. Um, yeah, I already got the magazines. Didn't I show them in the happy mail that I got? Or no? Did I put the, all right, I'm confused. Did I show them in the happy mail that I just got, that I just put up? Did you see that video? Did I show them in there? I thought I did. I'm losing my mind. You're confusing me because I could have sworn I shown the magazines in that happy mail video that I put up yesterday. Didn't I, who watched my video, my happy mail video yesterday? The one with all that vintage stuff in it. Didn't I show? No, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Did I show vintage rock magazines? Maybe not. Okay. Then I must have, then it must be in the video that I'm still editing. Maybe. 
What the hell? Why didn't? Why isn't that in there? Did I do? I have must have another video. I showed them already, so I must not have put the video up yet. Okay, I must not have put the video up yet, but I got them. And I thought I told you I got them too. Wow, I'm losing my mind somewhere. I did show the magazines. Okay, Killy, Killy, <laughs> I can speak. Kelly says that I did, she saw it, and I did. So you saw the, the rock magazines with, like, Sebastian Bach and, and Poison in those magazines. Yeah, the rock magazines. I know. That's what I mean. <laughs> oh, she's laughing at me. Because that's what you mean, right? You're talking about the rock magazines. Oh, vintage rock, yeah. I thought I, 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 stupid me, I thought I messaged you and told you I got them, but I guess I didn't. Sorry. I got them, though. Thank you. I, I, I guess I'm losing my mind. I could have sworn I messaged you. That's so bizarre. Maybe I messaged somebody else by mistake. That's happened before. I've messaged other people completely unrelated to something. I just did that the other day, like uh, a couple days ago, I messaged somebody about something and they were like, that wasn't me. And I'm like, oh crap. I looked up and I'm like, sorry, wrong person. <laughs> I'll end up clicking on the wrong thing. So I probably did message somebody else. Good Lord. Oh no, don't start. You see a mermaid now? We're going to start with that again. <laughs> oh no. Uh. Okay, so I did show them. I showed them in some video. I don't remember which one because my brain doesn't work. Either that or I showed them in our live stream. I don't remember. Either or, I showed them. Yeah, with the centerfolds of poison. Oh, yeah. And my boyfriend, Sebastian Bach and Brett Michael. Yeah, they're awesome. Oh, no. You see nothing. You see nothing. There's nothing there. There's no mermaids. There's no anomalies. There's nothing. It's a conspiracy. Did I get the poodle book? Oh, good lord. Now what? Did I get a poodle book? Did I get a poodle book? Sharon. Poodle book. Stop it. My brain, you guys are going to make my brain explode. Poodle book. Did I get a poodle book? You sent me a poodle book? <sighs> Alright, I don't know whether you're being a smart ass or not. <laughs> Did you get the poodle book? Made? You made. Yeah, I got the poodle book you made right here. Didn't you I didn't you see that? It, this right here, right? I showed that in a video too. Is this what you're talking about? No. Is this what you're talking about? Yeah, this is what you're talking about. I showed it in a video when I opened it. I even got your little trading card in here. I love this little book. I've been, I actually, it's been sitting right next to my desk here to the left because I was like thinking about what I was going to put in it. And I think what I'm going to do is put pictures in it and like little things about Piglet and Tigger. Yeah, they remember. You guys are making me lose my mind because I'm forgetting. What'd she say now? Unicorns fart glitter? Oh, yeah. I fart glitter, too. <laughs> That's because I probably ingest too much glitter. <laughs> you guys are funny. <sighs> you guys are funny. 
Okay, I'm going to move this aside so it can dry, and then I'm going to get a small piece, and we're going to work on another small one. We're going to work on another small one. Um, I'm not going to do a real big one, but I'll do another small one. Let me move this out of the way, and also move these out of the way. I swear you guys are going to drive me to drink with your unicorns and your, I see a mermaid, I see a this, I see a that. There ain't nothing in there. There's just people. There's just what there is. There's not what there isn't. <laughs> look, look what you made me do. One of my precious paints came flying out of my thing. It's all your fault. Look what you did. All right, let me move this so that you can stop seeing mermaids and fairies. Let's find a piece of paper. Right, Tigger? Let's find a piece of paper. Here, let's work on this. Let's work on this wonky, screwed up piece of paper that I got from the Creative Reuse that's got marks all over it, but we're going to gesso it. And I'm going to cut it because it's a, a nice actual um, watercolor paper and I won't even throw that out. Uh, it's even split. I'll just cut off that split end there. It's a beat up piece of paper, but it's fine by me. I could make something on it. I don't care. That's all I ever used to work on is junk gunked up paper that I got from somebody else. Well, didn't I message you, Althea? Tell me I didn't message you, too. What am I, losing my mind? I don't know. Sometimes I guess I assume that everybody's watching my videos. I think that might have been around the time, well, when you sent that, that might have been around the time that I was still not feeling well completely. And at that time, I had a lot of things to catch up on, and I probably never did. So I may not have messaged you. So I apologize if I didn't. Start moving around. All right. If you still want to work on the one that you were working on before, you can. You don't have to get a new one out. I'm just getting a new one because I happened to finish that one, but that doesn't mean yours is finished. Or if you just want to start a new one, you can. It's up to you. Let me dry this a little bit.
Okay, if you want to um, give me the first prompt for this page, type Jello in the chat. Where can we post these to hate with each other? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Are you posting these so that you can hate them? <laughs> oh, that cracked me up, Christy. I know that's not what you meant, but it made me laugh. <laughs> It's 7 a.m. where you are. Sumar, Sumotor, Sumardar, 100. That's it. I'm just going to call you 100. Yes, I gessoed this. You don't have to gesso it, but mine was all covered in a bunch of crap and then I'm just gonna go over. Still has still showing through, but that's okay. Um let's see. Althea, you choose the first prompt. You tell me what to do first. Yeah, Janet, you're going to be way too tired to be at work later. Maybe you should take the day off. Althea, you get to choose what we're going to do first. Paper napkin. Alrighty. I can do that. I can find a paper napkin. In fact, I found one. I found one. Do. We'll do this. I'll put the whole thing on and then whatever's left I'll put over here. Sounds like a plan to me. Or you know what? Maybe I'll just do strips. Maybe I'll do strips because I think it would be better if I did strips. I changed my mind. I'm allowed to change my mind. I'll do strips. Me and napkins have a love-hate relationship. Trying to get that backing paper off. Goodness, I hate it. I'll do a few strips with some napkin glue. Nope, that's the wrong one. Where's the napkin glue? Oh, there it is. 
right next to me. Duh. Just falling off. There we go. Now I got the whole thing off. off my fingers. There we go. I'll be right back. I gotta grab a drink. Okay, 
I had to get a drink. And I got some cookies. These are from Trader Joe's and they're really good. They're oatmeal cookies. Does anybody need more time? Yeah, it's definitely hard for me to keep up with the chat. <laughs> and create at the same time. Okay. If you want to choose the next prompt, type in oatmeal, because I'm eating oatmeal cookies. <laughs> Just put in oatmeal. But only put it in if you haven't chosen a prompt tonight yet. I have a prompt card that tells me I can have oatmeal cookies. Damn right. It's a prompt card that lives in my head always. Her channel name is the same as her name on here. DIYs with Sigrid Soto. Okay, Sandy. Sorry, I was chowing down on cookies. I was hungry. <laughs> I had a steak earlier tonight, but, you know, my fat ass still needs to eat cookies. Sandy, you get to choose the next prompt to go on my page. And anybody else's who is following along, making another page or working on the other page that they were working on. Add raised texture, she says. So that can be texture paste or whatever you want. That's raised. Um, let's see. I moved my texture paste. I don't know what I did with it. Let me look. Whatever did I do with it? Dimensional effects. There we go. I found it. My nose is running again. I better catch it before it runs away. Oh, it might help if I had some sort of a stencil to do it through. Let me see. Oh, these are in my way. I gotta move these out of the way. Um, 
Okay, sorry, it took me a minute to get some stencils. I just got these in Happy Mail. So I'm going to use them. They're pretty. I gotta figure out how to open the package. Are you kidding me? A 23 year old woman just drank a gallon of Clorox? Oh my god. Apparently, she was expecting to do some serious damage. She wasn't joking. Holy moly, that's crazy. All right, I used to listen to police scanners constantly. I used to be so interested in everything that was going on, but then it was so stressful. It ended up stressing me out. Because you'd hear, like, you know, some really bad domestic disputes that were just horrible and you know, where child services had to be called. They, it was like, okay, I can't listen to this every day. Yeah, that's insane. All right, keep in mind this texture is going to take a little bit to dry, so I'm going to have to use the heat gun a bit and dry it pretty well. Put it on as thin as possible because I don't want it to take forever to dry. So I put it on and scrape it off. this off. This is not going to be fun to clean. <laughs> this does not like me at all. Let me spray it with some water. Hopes to clean it a little easier because this is one of those that has a lot of little spots in it that get stuck on my rag, no matter what direction I go in. Let's try it with this towel, make it easier, yeah, easier with a rag and the baby wipes get stuck up for some reason. go. Oh, clean. Little spots where the little things bend up. All clean.
Why is everybody saying add texture? Oh, are we talking about what I what we chose? I got it. Let me hit this with the heat gun to give it a little bit of a dry. Um, I'm working on uh, a second page. We did one, and what we're doing is um, I'm letting everybody else choose what I do. They're, they're doing the prompts. They are the mixed media mashup cards tonight. So what I'm doing is I'll, I'll get them to, to, you know, like basically I'll say pick a, um, no. I'll tell them if they want to choose one of the cards to put in a certain word in the chat and then whoever writes the word in the chat I choose one of them and they get to choose what I do next <clears throat> okay, so is anybody not ready to add another thing? Is anybody still working on the texture paste? You could see the texture paste on there. It's just, I, it's on there very thin, but it's, you could see it. 
if this thing will focus, which it probably won't. There we go. You can see it all up in here. Your homemade paste is raised like an inch. Well, you probably should have scraped some of it back because it's now going to take forever to dry. <laughs> And that's fine if you're working on something where you can take the time to let it dry, but here we kind of move a little too fast for that. Okay, so if you are interested in choosing the next prompt for me, in the chat, type the word strawberry. And I'll choose somebody who chooses, uh, or I'll choose somebody who types that word to pick the next prompt. If you've already picked a prompt tonight, then please don't don't enter. Just so we can get give each person a chance to play. Yeah, we found some interesting stuff out about my family when we when my sister actually did she tracked it our family um, on ancestry.com and through different things. She found out that our family is um, has quite a few famous people in it. It was very interesting. It's fun to track your family. I, that stuff interests me a lot. That stuff is very fascinating to me. All the ancestry crap and history and all that stuff. It's very interesting to me. <laughs> Strawberry milkshake. <laughs> okay, Malika, you get to choose since you wrote strawberry in Dutch. Why does it look like my arm has like a big dirt spot? But it's actually just like where I've been leaning my arm on the side of my desk. But on the camera, it looks like it's all dirty or something. It's not. And then over here, I've got like red marks. That's probably from holding my ukulele. Weird red marks, but it's exactly where... No, not really, actually, is it? No, I don't know what that's from. I don't know. I have weird things all over my skin. I have bizarre skin. So what should we do next, Malika? H? She wants us to draw H's. <laughs> I think I don't think she means that. That? Oh good lord, do I have to go through that? Why why I have that? <laughs> it actually has to do with my ex. He has the key. He has a vintage key on his hand with a chain that goes up with my initial and that's his initial and this is a heart. You want, you want us to stamp on here? Okay. Let's stamp. I'm going to pick a different stamp. Ow. Huh. I just smacked my arm. Smooth move, Xbox. <clears throat> And I'm going to use Stazon that smells like cherries. But everybody says it's almond or something, almond extract, which, yeah, I guess it does because I've smelled almond extract before and it has that weird smell. Trying to feel where I don't have a lot of paste so I can stamp it without it.
see if I have another stamp. big stamp block. Did I lose it? No. There it is. I was going to say. I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be pissed. Cyanide smells like almonds. <laughs> I don't know if the company stays on uses cyanide in their ink. It's possible. I wouldn't put it past anybody, honestly. But I doubt it. <laughs> but that is funny to think about. Maybe, maybe they're trying to. They know that their inks are popular, so they're trying to. They're trying to uh, poison everybody in the, in the craft industry. With cyanide poisoning. They're just like, screw it. You're all dead. Me a spot. Yep. They tried to get us. They're trying to get us with cyanide poisoning. That's their plan. That's their master plan is to kill us off. If I eat my ink, I don't think I'm going to eat it. <laughs> it's arsenic. Stays on trying to poison us. That's true, Christy. It would hurt their profit margin if they killed us all off. But maybe, maybe they don't care about that because they're trying to take over the world. And they're starting with us. They're starting with the craft people. Then they're going to open a new company. Because it's like somebody that's got like a gazillion dollars. And then they're going to open up a different company. And they're doing it slowly so that it doesn't raise a lot of attention. They figured, you know, the crafty people of the world. This hobby is probably one of the smaller hobbies. Compared to like baseball or baseball collecting. Or, you know, baseball card collecting, sports memorabilia. And stuff like that. So we are probably a smaller group than them. So they're starting with the craft industry. And then they're going to move on to the sports memorabilia. And they're going to poison all the baseball cards and the basketball cards and all that stuff. And every time you go to a baseball game and eat a hot dog, there's going to be like arsenic in there or whatever, cyanide or something. Yeah, so they're starting with us. And they're slowly going to kill off the population of the world so that they can, and you know, so their people which are like aliens or something, are going to take over the world. That's my story as I'm sticking to it. Yep. My moon cookies from Trader Joe's. <laughs> Secret's always trying to tell me something about my moon cookies that are that they're bad for me or they're trying to hurt me because she doesn't want me to eat them. <laughs> I guess you just can't have any secret. You just can't have any. You're not allowed to have any moon cookies. They're all for me. Sorry. There's human DNA in hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, probably because of the idiots that are making the hot dogs are so annoyed that they're peeing in the hot dog, in the hot dog meat. And so, yeah, there's human DNA in there. Not the, not the exactly the best way to get it in there, but it's there. Yeah, I should send them to her. But what I'll do is I'll eat them first, and then I'll send them to her. They won't come in the original form that they were, you know, that, that, that I got them, but I'll send them to her. 
after I eat them. How's that sound? <laughs> you could get your own. You have Trader Joe's there. Secret. You you can you go to Trader Joe's already. So get your own damn moon cookies. Or maybe your Trader Joe doesn't have them. <laughs> Secret says, I'll take it. Yum. <laughs> Janet goes, gross. You don't have any moon cookies there. That's what it is. You don't have any. You're just jealous of my moon cookies. I ate all the moon cookies. They're all gone. Three packages of them since, what was it, Saturday that I went to the store and got them? Since Saturday, I ate three packages of moon cookies. That's pretty ridiculous. Okay, she could say that word if she wants to. She's a grown-up. She needs time out. <laughs> and super geeky cussing makes me happy. Don't hear from super geeky all night until she says, cussing makes me happy. No, she did say something before. Yeah, she called me selfish. Because I wouldn't give my moon cookies to secret. Yeah, I at first I thought she was. At first I thought secret was either high or drunk last night because I was talking to her and she was acting. She had the giggles. All right, I'm picking another person to to add to onto my disaster here that I've got going on. Okay, if you would like to choose, now only if you have not choose, chose yet, if you would like to choose a prompt to go, what sh or what I should do next, or what you should do next, what everybody should do next, I don't know who's still working with us, but anyway, um, choose moon cookie, put moon cookie, M-O-O-N cookie in the chat if you want to choose. I don't follow rules either. Yes, yeah, Secret went and changed her whole room around and didn't tell me. Oh, but guess what, Secret? I didn't get up today until 2.30. I was so happy. I finally got, I finally got up later than 7 o'clock in the morning or whatever it was. Ridiculous. 7 or 8 or somewhere around there is when I've been getting up. And I finally got up later. All right. 70 Acre Studio. You get to choose. What are what choices, Dawn? Dawn asks, what are the choices? What are you, what what are we referring to? Anne says banana moon pie. <laughs> Neither super geeky. They don't look like ass or they, they don't taste like ass either, believe me. Paint with something from your kitchen or drunk junk drawer. Uh, 
paint with something. I don't have anything in my kitchen or junk drawers. Everything's in here. I don't have anything in my kitchen I want to get paint on. So I will use, I know what I'll do. Something that's in my kitchen, but it's in here right now, is wax paper. I can put paint on wax paper and put it on there. That's something from the kitchen. It's something I'm willing to put paint on anyway. Because <laughs> I'm not willing to put paint on anything else. I don't want to eat paint. Don't make me. You can't make me eat paint. Let's do it in a smaller piece. Let's do this. Is there even, is this even going to come out? Mm, it's kind of thick. We'll see. I don't like this container. Ugh. Ugh. How about if we just do that and do that and mush it around. And then we'll do that and do that and do that and do that. And do that. That's fun. Let's do that more often. Night, Malika. She's leaving us. Oh, she says she's going to listen. I'll sing you a lullaby to help you sleep. Oh, I could probably get more off of there. There we go. All right, now I'll use a different color. Lullaby and good night. Go to sleep, Malika. Shut your eyes, shut your mouth, shut your face, and go to sleep. That's your song. <laughs> Don't wake up for any reason, or I will poison you with cyanide. If I catch you opening your eyes, you're gonna drink some bleach. Too soon? <laughs> mm, Alright, I gotta find some paint. I got the green, but I now I wanna add purple. And I can't find my purple. Ooh, I got purple. I got purple. I got purple. Ooh, I got glitter too. I wanna do that. Where's my purple? Uh oh. Mm, where is my purple? No, that's not it. Where can I find my purple? Oh, do I have to pull everything out to get to my purple? Oh, I can't pull everything out. Oh, there it is. Well, no, that's not it. Um, is it? All right, I found some purple. I might need some more. Yeah, I'm having a good time. add some purple on here. Is this what you had in mind? <laughs> Is this good enough? 70 acre studio? Did I do it? Did I do justice what you wanted me to do? She's probably gonna kill me because it's not what she asked me to do, but it's not from my kitchen. Well technically it is from my kitchen, so you know. I I didn't 
disobey the rules, which I normally do disobey all the rules. Hello to anybody that's new that came in. We are having a party with all kinds of paint. And I'm going to run the heat gun for a second. I hope you both feel better soon. I don't like when anybody's feeling like poop. Feeling like poop is no fun at all. Jane Sills just put a bunch of emojis in the chat that basically indicates that she wants us to die. <laughs> She's with devil horns and skulls. Die, bitches. <laughs> Hi, Kim Kim Crafts. Kim Kim something. Kim's Nifty Crafts. Hello, welcome. go. Get that sucker dry before I add some sparkle. And it looks blue in the in the video kind of, but it's actually purple. It's really purple. Does it look purple? I mean, it's not purple like that type of purple, but it's like the other darker kind of purple. It's kind of showing up purple, I guess. This camera doesn't like certain colors. Um, we're going to add some sparkle. You have to be at work in an hour, Janet. Don't go. Don't go. Stay home. Stay home. Stay home and me and Secret will video chat with you. See what you're going to miss out on if you go to work. Just call in sick. You're sick. I know you're sick. You're a sick, sick puppy. You're really sick. You need medical attention. I thought I heard you coughing earlier. This is a fun method to use for putting down paint, I'll tell you that. Everybody needs to try it, because it's a lot of fun. Did I just make up a new technique? that's a lot of fun. I like that. It's a good way to get random paint on without having to do it and it, I don't know, I kind of like that. I'm sure somebody else has done it before. I'm not the only one. As much as I'd like to think that I'm the only one that does anything because like I'm perfect, you know, so I'm probably not as perfect as I think I am. It's a harsh realization. Oh, I want to hear him play somebody play guitar while I'm crafting. Damn. I need to find a I need to find a boyfriend or a husband that's musically inclined who can sit in the background while I'm making art and just play the guitar and then I'll sing because I like to sing. I played the ukulele for Secret last night 
And, and I think she was like laughing at me. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> I got a little better on that song today because I practiced today for like a good two hours. So I, I did get better. I'm getting faster. I promise that once I get well enough on the ukulele where it doesn't sound too ridiculous, I'll do like a full song. But eventually, even if I'm not that great at it, eventually I'll do like parts of a song or something. Or maybe I'll... I started learning happy birthday on the ukulele so I can, when I sing happy birthday to you guys in the live streams, um, I can actually strum it, strum the ukulele and sing it. So that'll be fun. He's gaming with his peeps. <laughs> That's funny. Malika's back. I guess my singing didn't put you to sleep. <laughs> Did you hear my lullaby, Malika? She, you always say you're going, you're leaving, and then you never do. She can't. She's addicted. She can't just leave. She says she, doesn't she always say that? Am I the only one that realizes that? That Malika always says she's leaving, but then two seconds later, she's back talking in the chat. She lies. She says she's leaving when she doesn't. <laughs> she's full of crap. No, don't send your husband to me, Secret. I don't want him. <laughs> he and I would never be right for each other. We are too much alike. We are Capricorns, and we need to keep busy constantly, which would probably drive us both nuts because we would be bouncing off of each other because there would be nothing to balance us out. It would be, oh, him wants to do a project. I want to do a project. So we're both constantly only, always only doing projects and there's never somebody there to keep us like chill out. Like, okay, come chill out. Done doing projects. You know what I mean? So, oh, Janet asked for him. Oh, okay, good. Not me though. Yeah, I, I wouldn't, that wouldn't be a good mix because we're, we're too much alike in that aspect of we're both very busy body people. We always have to be doing something we'd end up exhausting each other to the point where it would be ridiculous. Yeah, but Janet has a husband. Oh, she wants him for her cleaning skills. Oh, I got it. That, yeah, that's a good skill. I wouldn't mind having him for that either. Gail says that she needs a hu husband if anybody's got a spare one for her. Why would you want one? Ugh. They might have a couple of good positive points, but other than that, oh no. I, I wouldn't want one at all. Gross. Yeah, most of them are good for nothing. There's not very much that husbands are good for. It's very rare that anybody has a decent husband. I have a few friends, like very, very few friends that have decent husbands that I'd be like, oh, you know, that's a decent guy, whatever. But a lot of them, like, I just, there's too many things about them that I couldn't deal with that, that my friends or some people I know put up with that I couldn't put up with, but they put up with it, but I don't have that kind of patience. I don't have the ability to put up with like immature crap so it wouldn't work because as soon as they start acting like an immature ass I'd be like no I'm over this this ain't happening we aren't doing the immature crap no way because a lot of people who you know like they'll say oh my husband's so great this that and the other and then I finally meet him and I'm around him a few times and I actually see what he's really like and I'm just like ooh no 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 but I mean obviously they love them. It's because they're able to put up with them. You know what I mean? They other certain people can put up with some things. I can't. I don't have the ability to put up with crap. Not even the littlest crap. 
I don't expect them to be perfect, but I, you know how, like, I don't know, some people have, like, you know, a guy that's, like, you know, his, his, he may be perfect in a lot of ways, but he's, like, really lazy and, and dirty and doesn't, like, ever clean up after himself. Like, that would be, a, I couldn't do that. I couldn't be, I couldn't be with somebody who didn't clean up after themselves. Like, even Chris, when I was with him, before he became this, what he is now, he used to clean up and clean up after himself and never left crap laying around. That was the one good thing. Like, he was a totally different person before we split up and he went into this direction of hell. I don't know what it is, but when we were together, he cleaned and he cleaned the house and every weekend we would split up the chores and clean and he'd come home from work and sweep the floors and he didn't cook, but he, he cleaned shockingly. Okay. If you want to pick the next prompt, we were rambling on there. I was rambling on for a long time. <laughs> if you want to pick the next prompt for this project mess that I made, um, type the word husband. <laughs> type in the word husband. Well, I would hope he's not going anywhere, and you married him 26 years ago. Libras are the worst. That's what Chris is. He's a Libra. Libra men are the worst, I think. I don't know. I'm just basing it on him, but he's very, very deceiving and backstabbing type of person. He's got a lot of secrets. Yeah, it is weird, but it, it makes a lot of sense because he was, it, it's, I'm not going to get into it now because it's a long story, but it, it kind of does make sense. I was talking a secret about it last night. It's, it makes sense what he's doing because he had to keep control for a long time because of, you know, and then, you know, like just things like it, it, it kind of does make sense. He kind of went from being one person to another in a lot of ways, not just, you know, yeah, I don't like Libra men. All right, your ex was a Libra, Malika. Was he very secretive and, and, and like manipulative and, um, uh, you know, lied a lot and stuff? Oh, did you bake them and they got nice and flat? See, I'm afraid to do that because I'll screw them up and I can't afford to get new ones. That's the only thing. I'm afraid that if I bake them, I'm going to screw it up somehow because my oven doesn't work right, so the temperature's not right on it. Yes, you're right, Jane. Scorpios are controlling. That's truth. I know I dated a Scorpio once and he was very controlling. I'm not talking about women. I'm talking about men, Libras. How did you bake them? Oh, that's Wanda, right? Is it Wanda? Why isn't my brain working? I know your name because you sent me a happy mail. Wanda Bailey, is it Wanda? Yeah, it's Wanda. I love the name Wanda. Such a cool name. Does nobody want to pick a thing? Did anybody put husband in? Did I not see it? Was I talking again? I didn't pay attention. Oh, there it is. I didn't see it. Okay. What we'll do is since I only see two and um, we'll let Super Geeky pick first, and then Dawn can pick again. His <laughs> secret says has been. <laughs> so we'll do Super Geeky. 
You pick the first one, Super Geeky. Sorry, I was ch chit-chatting. You have to keep on my ass because I forget. So Super Geeky, you choke, you choke, you choke, you choke, Super Geeky. <laughs> you choose, choose, not choke. You know choking. Now you're clamming up. You gotta pick something. Pick what I'm doing next. Tell me what to do. Stickers? Uh, will stickers stick on here? How about something else? Only because I don't think I'm gonna get, be able to get stickers to stick on here. There's a lot of texture. I mean, if you really want me to, I could find stickers and glue them on, but I don't know if you really want me to do that. Not yet, Dawn. Fake flowers. That's a good idea. We could put flowers on here. I got flowers, actually. I got, let's see, will this one go? No, not that one. I got this one right here that well, I was sent in Happy Mail. Ooh, or. Ooh, actually, can the fake flower be connected to a, a butterfly? Because look at that. How perfect is that? Just color wise, it's perfect. Who the hell sent me this? Why is my brain drawing a blank? You probably are in the chat right now. Who sent me this recently? Like in the last couple of months? Why is my brain not working? I can't remember who sent this to me, but I've been holding on to it. And this is like the perfect color for this. The only thing I'm going to do is ink the edges with a little black so it pops out. We'll use some stays on. And somewhere I have black. What did I do with it? Um, I think it's on the back of the distress ink. Yeah, we'll use this black pad. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think it would go too. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get these ink on here. I just want to blacken the edges a bit. Make it really pop from the background. I've been holding on to this and like trying to like think of a way to use it because I really like it. It's really pretty. She made it with a soda can. She die cutted this with a soda can. She used two pieces because one wasn't long enough and she kind of put it together. But you can't really even tell that she put it together with two pieces. It came out really good. But I just can't for the life of me think of who gave it to me. Did anybody say in here yet? I don't remember. I did the Happy Meal on it, but my brain isn't working. And it was somebody that I, like, somebody that I, that, comes to my live streams and that I talk to pretty, you know, fairly often on my Facebook page, but the, the name is escaping me. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't really believe in the whole sign thing. I'm just blowing smoke out of my butt. I mean, I don't know if I believe that a certain sign is a really a certain way. Because there are pe good and bad in people in every sign and every, you know. Because I know some Libras that are awesome. And so I, I'm not sure if any of that's really true. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know. I used to believe like in horoscopes and stuff when I was younger. But not as much anymore. I don't really believe it too much in all that. There we go. I don't 
don't know. Mm, let's see. It's a fake flower. So technically, I'm trying to think where I want it. Where do I want it? Up here? In the middle? Or down here? You tell me. Top, middle, bottom. Nah, you don't need to go to work. They'll live. They'll survive without you. I'm not going to poison me, her. Alright, I see... Most people are saying bottom. Oh, uh, why, Janet? You shouldn't be going anywhere. Bottom, top, center, over here, over here. <laughs> Maybe I'll just put it over here. <laughs> All right. Some people said bottom, so I'm going to put it on the bottom. Although I never heated up my heat gun, so I'll have to I'll have to put it down in a minute because I forgot to turn on my glue gun. Stupid. Even though this is aluminum, it'll probably still be okay with a glue gun. Okay. So if you would like to choose, well, you, oh, that's right. Dawn, Dawn's going to choose now. I think you said something earlier, but I, you might, I don't know what you said. I don't remember. So Dawn, tell me what you want me to do. It could be whatever. You don't have to stick to what he said before anything. Stacy, singing, I have to drink something. LOL. I started to laugh. My husband opened his eye and looked at me like I was going insane. I don't think you're going insane, Malika. I think you're already insane. <laughs> All right, see you later, Charity. Charity, you'll have to come and be a guest on the show since you live um since you live right near me. Or maybe sometime we'll have to go down to the creative reuse together. We should do that. We should plan to go to the creative reuse together. Have you ever been down there? Charity? Well, message me on Facebook or something, Charity, so that we can chat. It's a Pink Poodle Pack Creative Playground. Write a quote or words or just write whatever. All right. W-H-A-T-E-V-E-R, whatever. <laughs> mm. Write a quote or words or just write whatever. I know. I'll write something. Could she be a crazy person and try to kill me? That would be awesome. That would be exciting. I, I can use the excitement in my life. I wonder if this pen will write on here. Yeah, you should get some sleep, Malika, but you won't. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure this will work on here. Um, I don't know what to write. Somebody give me something nice to write that's not too, too long. I, you can always write, I sit on a throne built from the bones of my enemies. 
<laughs> what? Seems like it would fit well, you think? I don't know about that. <laughs> I sit on a throne built from the bones of my enemies. That's hilarious. What the hell kind of phrase is that? <laughs> I don't know if I want to put that. I don't know if that reflects how I feel. <laughs> That's a good one for Halloween, though. I have to remember that. I'll have to remember that around Halloween when I do, like, when I do, like, a cool kind of Halloween one. I can do a mixed media and, and put that. So somebody remember that because Halloween, I'm going to want to remember that. Hi, Kathy's Art Garage. How about we do something not... depressing. Fly free. Good lord, you people are nuts. Let's just put fly free. Fly free and brave. How's that? Hopefully this will write. I have really piss poor handwriting. I'm going to outline it in black so you're not going to be able to see it very well right now. What? Why was that? Oh my god, yes, Tammy, yes. What did Tammy say? What am I missing? There was a man from Nantucket. It's not there was a man Nantucket. There was a man from Nantucket. And I know the rest of these. Don't make me say it. Fly free. What did I say? Fry, fly free and live brave. That's that's fine. I thought I had a sharpie, a white sharpie pen. What did I do with it? Do I put it in here? Because that might work better. Um, uh, well, alright, well, screw it.
and I gotta be able to fit it on here. And Live. Oh, crap. I may have made that a little too big. That's all right. Maybe I'll write it in cursive. That's what I'll do. That's the plan. Because it won't, it wasn't going to fit if I tried to do it in the block letters. Now I'm going to find a black marker, which I got one right here. This, no, nope, that's brown. I happen to have a black marker here somewhere. Um, let's see. Whoops. Let's see if this craft smart marker will do any good. Yeah, it should. Okay, I can move that now. I'm sorry, Lynn. You can watch the, uh, I was going to say the rerun. <laughs> watch the recording tomorrow. I didn't screw this up now. Whoops. I may have. 
That's okay. Good enough. Oh yeah, I forgot I have this here. Good enough. It's not perfect. Once everything is dry, maybe I'll go in and add some stuff to it. Do I want to tilt it? Yeah, I do. I think this should be... Now well, maybe I'll keep it straight. Well, that'll keep it in place. I'll I'll put it down more later. I'll put the wings down maybe or maybe I'll leave it up. I don't know. I don't know. I think we might need some a border. Let me see what other pencils I got. Or these. That one's not open. I have a purple one that's open somewhere here. I can go in and like. Thanks, guys. Whoops. Well, that's leaking. I don't want it to drip on my page. That's the only thing I don't like about these painter markers. They kind of suck. I'm not a fan. I can go back over the black anywhere that I go across where I'm not supposed to. pink one, but it's the only pink one I have. one. Some of these I got from the Creative Reuse, so I don't know if they work. Well, it's coming out, but I think it might be too bright. 
Then again, the pink is very bright. I don't think it matters at this point. <gasps> no! See, that's why I hate these markers. Both the Craft Smart and the Painters, they like leak all over the place. Let's try that again. Can we get you to like chill out, marker? This one I'll put pink and green. It's colorful. You guys can't see very well. But I just made it colorful. Why not? That's probably. This one's sparkly. I love these. These ones here, these these crazy art glitter markers and the Crayola glitter markers, even though that one just spit all over my thing. I probably shouldn't slam it on the table and then try to use it. But I love these generally because they're pretty. They're really pretty sparkly. And they actually work really well, aside from that. Overall, they work really well. And they're pretty. keep leaning my hand in it. I think I'm just going to let it dry and then I'll work on it more later and I'll post a picture of it in the group because I keep leaning my hands in things and I'm getting paint probably all over the place. I think we're going to end the live stream and be done with our project. Oh cool, you made texture paste? Awesome. Let me know how it works out. I am really behind on the chat because I got got into whatever I was doing. The ne next prompt is Zentangle, she said. Yeah, no. I don't have enough patience for Zentangle. Well, I hope you guys had fun. I did. I'm glad you guys got to choose what we were doing. got a video coming out tomorrow that you all will like a lot. I got something fun for Happy Mail that I'm going to be using and you'll see it tomorrow. I wanted to get the video out today but my computer kept crashing every time I tried to do it and I didn't have enough time to edit it on my laptop which is the computer that I use to see the chat over here on my craft desk. Um, it's just that this this computer like I hate editing videos on it because everything takes so long to do because it's not as strong of a computer as the other one but the other like memory wise and everything like I have a lot of RAM in the my desktop computer which is over on the other side of the room it's just that there's it's for some reason I'm having some issues with it and so it's crashing my computer every time I go to edit a video so I have to do it on this laptop which I hate doing it on this laptop because it takes forever and it's just annoying um, and I don't like sitting over here to work on the computer. It's just annoying. So I wasn't able to get it up tonight like I wanted to. So it'll be up tomorrow because it's all edited. Um, I just have to 
it's when I when I go to save it most of the time. Mo well, yeah, it's, it is all edited. That's true. I got it all edited, and then I saved it so that even if even if the computer crashed when I went to um, when I went to save it, it would be edited enough and, and saved as a project. So I, I was able to just transfer it over to this computer here that I uh, you know. So all I have to do is pull it up and just assign make sure that everything's still the way it was like you know in movie maker and then I can save it and I'll be able to post it up like late tonight or tomorrow morning it'll be up regardless at some point in the next like four or five hours I think thanks for hanging out and playing the mixed media mashup where we, you guys pick the prompts. I hope you guys like that because I want to do more of that. Um, you know, not every time, but like maybe every four weeks or so, three or four weeks, maybe we'll do it where you guys get to choose. If you don't like that, let me know if you didn't like this or if you prefer the cards. Um, I don't know which one you prefer better, but I don't know, you can let me know in the comments of this video when it goes up or in the group or something. But anyway, I will see you guys later. I am going to go and get that video started and finished and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your night or week or whatever. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Poodle Pack out. Thank mm -hmm. you.